Canada's second largest pension fund invested in $400 million equity round of financing for Celsius in October. Obviously, that's going to be a problem with, of course, the withdrawals being shut off. We'll be covering this more. Nick Carter was talking about it. Wu Blockchain says that according to Parsec Dive Finance, if Ethereum falls to $1,100 to $1,200, the liquidation pressure from DeFi will be about $900 million, mainly from Aave, MakerDAO, and Compound. So one of the things I wanted to bring up is like we keep talking about centralized exchanges and the risk you run there, but there are risks within decentralized finance as well. And this is kind of highlighting a little bit of that because once again, if you, if you've created this system, like Ethereum has basically created a system where you have the potential to lock up a portion of your Ethereum to gain a certain reward, but now you're not able to pull it out. And then people that were trying to work with that within DeFi we're locking up some Ethereum and then creating this ST ETH that represents that locked up Ethereum, but nobody can pull out that Ethereum. So you depeg. What happens when your staked Ethereum, your STE, staked Ethereum representation represented as a token on the Ethereum blockchain? What happens when that depegs? That influences, of course, the rest of DeFi to start depegging. Uh, just in general, right? And obviously here what we see as well is like this liquidation pressure will be pretty intense, mainly from once again, Aave. We've talked about Aave before, like sounded really cool at the time, you know, a way to uh, earn some extra crypto and so on. I kind of pulled out a while ago and had told you guys about it, um, but I'd had messed with it and done some guides on it. According to Parsec Finance, when Ethereum falls around 1150, nearly 500 million of on-chain collateral will face liquidation. Wrapped Bitcoin will have more than 300 million of on-chain collateral near 21,600 or face liquidation uh, dot app dot parsec dot finance. So uh, that's what they're talking about. Sorry, that's the link to it. Um, once again, like I said, the DeFi like collapsing like here ends up like rippling across the entire the entire market as miners. I understand there's a lot of you that are like, screw ETH and we don't need ETH and it'll just go away and we won't have to worry about it. You need to put the pump the brakes on that right now because you need to understand that pretty much all of decentralized finance is powered by Ethereum, whether you like it or not. And that means you have a whatever your favorite coin is probably has some sort of decentralized finance wrapped token on the ETH blockchain, okay? And that will be affected by a failure of ETH to execute proof of stake in the merge, the failure of ETH to enable withdrawals to prevent staked ETH from depegging, and that will basically destroy all of decentralized finance and the entire crypto market will basically take a, a dump. There are outliers here, sure. Standalone chains that haven't integrated with DeFi won't be impacted, potentially. It's still gonna be impacted by the whole market because all your pairings within centralized exchanges are still having, the, will, are, will still have to accommodate for that, right? And most of those pairings are ETH and Bitcoin, right? ETH, Bitcoin, and USDT, which USDT, Hopefully it's not at risk because it is backed by actual US dollar. At least that's what I've been told. So hopefully Tether still sticks around as far as that goes. If there's enough in, of course, for everybody to use within the system. But you don't want ETH to fail. There are miners that say, you know, you could just unlock the staked ETH, pay it back, stick to proof of work and continue on there. I think that's actually a valid argument for Ethereum in general, right? Just to wait until a bull run before you enable this proof of stake, because at least then you have a whole bunch of people willing to dump in money to provide security to the network. You have a lot less people willing to dump in money to provide security to the network in this current situation. 
That being said, we do know, of course, the Ethereum Foundation is going to be basically providing the most amount of locked up ETH for staking to provide that security. The reason the foundation has to do it, the reason it becomes centralized is because just by nature, proof of stake influences users to lose security based on the price of cryptocurrency, whether they experience extreme fear or, of course, extreme, uh, I guess high prices where they want to sell it sorry we have some people at the door here so pardon me while we go through this hopefully that makes sense and you understand that we don't want ethereum to go through this we don't want these problems to be presented as a whole in the cryptocurrency market because DeFi does influence it I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.